They certainly look like a focal. Anyway, hi, I'm Zio Spintero, your host of In Ear Fetish. No, wait, that's my other channel. Go check out my In Ear Fetish channel where I do IMs. Um, this video uh, is about the Bathys. The Bathys, which sounds like either an award show for something terrible or a race in Australia. And uh, this is Focal's, not their first. I don't think this is their first true like, like wireless headphone, but it is their most expensive. This is $800. Thank you all for stopping by. Links in the description. Don't forget to support the channel. Um, so here's the deal. You need to do a lot to make an $800 Bluetooth headphone. And Focal has like their, a reputation for like higher end stuff. I would like if it was only like $600, $500 would still make them a very expensive headphone. Although I think they were just going for like, I want to be more expensive than Apple. What's Apple doing? Yeah, I had like $200 under that. Yeah, 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 do it. Now, this is the boardroom at Focal. Yeah, do it. Um, I am pleased to announce, though, this is one of the better built Bluetooth headphones. And, like, look at it. Like, you saw the thumbnail. You clicked the thumbnail. You got the Focal logo that is, by the way, lit up. And you can change that from bright, which it's on now, to dim, to off in the app. Because, of fucking course, there's an app. Um, I got to give them credit on the pads, though, because I have, like, the Focal Stellias over there. And those are three thousand dollars. I think I, I put the Coney pads on there. And I think I like the pads on this better because they're there's something specific. If you're going with an active noise canceling headphone, which is what this is, the least they're doing active noise canceling. They've got an app that they're they're putting their dick in the door, not their foot. No one wants to put their foot in a door. That would hurt. Put your dick in the door, and they're like, look, take us seriously. So. Looks department, fantastic. Everyone wants to be seen in these. They're a little bulk this way. Like, you're not going to go, oh, that's such a sleek, smooth headphone. It is a sexy ass, expensive looking headphone, and you're going to be respected as such. Um, adjustability is, you know, basically the same as every other headphone that they make. Um, headband here, a nice. It's not like super padded, but it's a nice, like, suede up here. The uh, pads, again, are thick memory foam. If we look inside, you can see the driver is far offset to the front and angled to give you that forward presentation. You can replace the pads should they get uh, damaged or wet. Little pegs here, you gotta line up. You gotta peg your focals. There you go, and then you sort of like give it like a, you finger it in. Um, I was gonna do this review entirely with them plugged in, by the way, to an amplifier. Before, like, I was using them Bluetooth and I was, working around with them and I'm just using them. And then I'm like, well, you know what? They've got a, a, the tour of the unit, microphone for making phone calls, talking to that, well, you just talk near that. 3.5 millimeter, which is what I was going to use. Uh, USB-C to charge it. This button is for the voice assist. Uh, you got a three-way switch, off, DAC, and on. We'll get to the DAC section. And then a rocker switch with a center, which is uh, positive, negative, and play. Double tap for next trap, triple tap, tap for, for the last track it's all you fucking need why do why do so many companies confuse this shit with touch panels and fucking they don't even make it so you can next track literally one button can pause next track or one two three last track and, and then pause again it's, just, it's very simple at least Focal hasn't screwed that up. They didn't try to do some weird shit. We have to like gently massage just the Focal logo forward and back. No. Basic bitch mode. This is why I like my Bose QC45s. They're designed for people who understand a Bluetooth headphone. The end. So I, I like touch stuff when touch stuff works, but it's like oh, buttons. So I guess we'll address the problem with plugging them in. They don't sound as good. They still sound good. These things sound great. Like wallpaper, cutes girls, good. It's good stuff. But I was trying to do the review. I was going to like, all right, I'll listen to them only plugged in, and we'll see how that goes. I burn these in, by the way. That's another thing. Um, because I didn't love them when I first got them. But I know something about Focal. They're French, and they need to be beaten occasionally but just let's just use them because I've had like Focal headphones that are like like Elex and stuff. Some people love them, some people hate them. If you get them fresh out of the box, they're a little bit hot, like in your ears. So I'm like, all right, I need to burn them in. So luckily, it's a 3.5 millimeter. So I'll just plug them in and it'll power it and it'll do it. Wrong, wrong, wrong as usual. You need to have these 
on using the battery power to use a 3.5 millimeter. A lot of times a 3.5 millimeter or 2.5 millimeter, whatever the, whatever the aux cable is, is to bypass the electronics in case you're using them and the battery dies, you could still plug them in, listen to things on an airplane, etc. Not with the Focals. The Focals are going full tits DSP, which means if they're digitally processing the tuning of the headphone, they can't let you power them without the DSP being there. Therefore, that's like the biggest oversight I found with these. Because if you're going to spend $800 on a headphone, let's, just, let's pretend it's just a headphone. It's just a Focal headphone. It comes with Focal bag. I got to use Focal headphone. I'm going to use it on my computer all day. I want to use the computer all day. And I want to use it on my, my DAC amp. You can't unless it's on. So the other option, which by the way, I want to point this out. I charged it and then left it on the burning rig and it would go 24 full fucking hours still running off the battery charge playing music. And then I would have to charge it up for like five or six hours and plug it back. Unplug. You can't also run it with the USB-C charging it and the 3.5 into it. As soon as you charge it, dies can't doesn't play doesn't play signal so I had to unplug it every time that's just me this is not you i'm just saying if you don't like them out of the box give them a bit whether you just leave them running attached to an old phone or just something else plug it in i think giving them like 72 hours of just just like just playing music just calm them the fuck down because there was a little sharpness to it um so the three ways you can use this headphone are the normal standard bluetooth way where you just Bluetooth to the Bluetooth headphone. The auxiliary cable way, which I just described, where you can plug this in, it disables your Bluetooth, and it uses the battery. Or you can switch that switch from on to DAC, which will then, I believe, because I, I didn't have, it doesn't say it specifically or implicitly in the manual. I believe if you plug it in via DAC, which you get to use the absolute god shit tier garbage cable that they come with, which obviously, obviously the um, this is the auxiliary cable it came with. It's also shit tier. I'm using this very nice RBH like ultimate headphone cable. I like, like nice cables with my $800 fucking headphones. Um, but it's, yeah, no, it comes with a really just jank little guy. And here's a, a USB-C to USB-C that's also quite jank. If you don't know what jank is, this is the definition. Um, so I plug this into my phone, and you plug this into the headphone, and you switch that switch to DAC, and all of a sudden, you're not using the wireless, you're using it wired. Whether that is charging the headphone also, don't know. But I will say, um, this is kind of how I figured out that the Bluetooth, certainly the Bluetooth and the USB sound better than the analog input. Because the analog input sounded narrow. Like, I'm like, where is the sound stage? I sat here to do the review. I'm, I'm prepping. I used them, and I'm like, wait a second. You know, I wasn't, like, focused when I was using them out and about. And now I'm focused. Like, there's no sound stage. It's very narrow. And then I realized, oh, that's the conversion from analog back to digital to be then put through the DSP to be put back to digital, put back to analog. Okay. So only use a 3.5 millimeter in a pinch. By the way, uh, L70 and E70 stack coming soon. Um, real soon, actually. Probably I'm going to film it after this. But the DAC, when you use it as a DAC, you get all the quality, because it's just digital, straight to digital, doing its DSP correction of the drivers, and then presenting it to the amplifiers and analog, so on and so forth. The problem, again, is that it comes with the shittiest fucking wire. And I'm not 100% sure that that's charging the headphone while it's going on. Um... Let's really quickly talk about the app. Here it is. You get, it shows you the battery. It tells you the audio format if it's playing, which I can have to make it play. A lot of things on this headphone won't do a thing unless it's playing music. So now it's playing, now it says Qualcomm Aptex Adaptive, which I think is better than HD. Doesn't do LDAC, because it would be doing LDAC if it was doing LDAC, I well, didn't popped it all the way in you now have eq noise canceling and led led is off dim or bright there's bright there's dim and there's off yay i don't think it's gonna save you any battery i literally left it on bright while i was sitting over there burning in it's kind of cool all right 
I'm not a huge fan of like lights on things, but the Focal logo in particular is like a lit up little little tornado and it it's done so tastefully here. I can feel the the expensiveness of this in like little details like that. Um EQ is here. It's only a 5 band EQ, which is a little shit, and it goes plus amount of 6 dB and your presets are home which looks like this. I swear I didn't program that in. And loudness, which looks like this. And it's very subtle because I was literally switching to those and I was like, did I turn it on? So if you need to just barely tweak it, you can do it through a five band EQ. And the last thing is noise cancellation. Um, this is probably one of the nicest ways to adjust noise cancellation because again, it's just a fucking button where is it? It's a button on the left-hand cup, so it's separate from all the other things. And you press it once, and it's transparency. You press it again, and it's soft. Tra it's soft and active noise canceling. And what that does, it means it cuts to low end, but it's, it doesn't try to block all sound, because a lot of people are annoyed by active noise canceling. It does all sound. However, if you hold this button for two seconds, then it goes to hard or silent active noise canceling. I don't know why you would do soft and then silent instead of soft and hard. I would love to say, put on my hard ANC, um, which does cut like everything out. And I'm, I was sitting in the basement and there was a fan running and there was doing a thing outside. And it was just like, is it as good as Apple's? No, nothing's as good as Apple's, all right? I don't think there's gonna be a, as good as Apple's active noise canceling for several years without coming straight from the company. Bose and Sony are way ahead of the game compared to the to the Bathys, but the Bathys are still doing it. Plenty for a fucking airplane trip, plenty for a car ride, they're doing their thing. And I like the way that you can just go click, click or click and hold, and you click and it comes out. So then that's literally the app, by the way. The app is done settings this is like a, there's a gear voice assistant you can set to google or alexa or local firmware is up to date it will do a firmware update to the app as well i think i did that when i first got them and, and that's it that's quick tips and we're done that's done with the app i like that unlike the sony app where it wants me to take pictures of my fucking ears just basic knowledge and even though the only thing on there that you really can't access through the headphone is the eq because it'd be really hard to dictate that. Um, it doesn't use a voice. Like a lot of them use like that say things like, like turning on or low power, baby. It doesn't say that. Um, except when you hit this button. Bluetooth or the assistant app is not connected. And then some dude is just like it's straight out of like a third grade like teaching tutorial on like here's how the here's how birds propagate. Um that's the only time I've heard him speak. If you do volume up and you hit max, you connect Bluetooth, you turn it on and off, it just makes a whoomp, whoomp. And then when you do the active noise canceling, actually, hold on one second. Let me see, just double check something. Yeah, it, it's, it stops the music for a second and makes a boom. If it's, if it's going transparent, it's a boom. If it's going active noise canceling, it's boom. And if you hold it, it goes boom. I kind of like that. It's a universal language. You don't have to learn anything. By the way, I don't know why the active noise, the, uh... Or the app is not I don't know why it's saying that, considering I have an Android phone and Google Assistant should be hooked up to it. Uh, sound quality. How, how we listen into this, BB. So, pausing it, putting it on my head, going to my, my downloaded flack on my Fizzone, playing through the FUBAR app. Yes, FUBAR has an app. Just like Fubar is there, Fubar is here. Chainsaw Man, kickback. This is without any EQ. Okay, um, these kind of kick ass. I mean, they should, they're $800. They're twice the price of like the Bose and the Sony. So they got it and it's focal or focal, however you want to say it. And I think they understand, they actually understand what I want. What Well, what I, by I, I mean us, want in a, in a headphone. We want it to sound good. I know this is strange, Apple. Didn't you do it? You know, figure it out. Didn't figure it out too. I want low end that's like powerful. And I want decent sound stage, not crazy wide. I want to keep the details in and it's got it. it, it I, I could, you know those stupid commercials where someone's fucking 
puts on like a headphone and then they're like it's perfectly color balanced and they're smiling and they're dancing and they're they're, they're, they're kicking their feet in the puddles and they're like ah, and everyone's waving back at them this kind of feels like that it kind of feels like it could be accomplished with the bathys just saying just saying it's usually bullshit but it's like solid low end great vocal clarity this is why I'm upset that the that this doesn't work because if you're gonna spend eight hundred fucking dollars on a on a Focal headphone, I kind of want to use it maybe just as a headphone, just part of my collection and just take it out and yeah. By the way, these also have Bluetooth, but they have so it's so integrated in that you have to charge it to use the fucking cord. And it doesn't sound as good, so you have to use a DAC. So that means you have to plug in USB C, and it's it's not like that's a biggest huge problem but it's annoying like i kind of want to i would like if i own these if you own these i'd like to be able to say hey you bought an 800 dollar headphone that just happens to have an active noise canceling setup but it's not that because these are fucking good i went through 18 seconds of kickback and ripped them off my head to talk about it by the way chainsaw man first episode didn't sell me the rest of it did imaging by the way imaging is stellar because they didn't go super wide with the soundstage, the imaging just across. I forgot what song came on, but it was like, I could feel it. Like, like someone's dragging a scalpel across the back of both my eyes. It was like, shh, shh, shh. Perfect. Run the Jewels. Paw Fluffer Knight from Meow the Jewels. If you don't ask your... Hold on, I'll, I'll solve this for you. Alexa, shuffle Meow the Jewels. You're welcome. Um, you know, these are... I want to say these sound gangsta, but it's only because I'm listening to Run the Jewels. Like, there's depth. And there, there's just enough sharpness in the highs that it's like, all right, I'm getting all the detail. Um, I had had a couple songs where it's like, I, I actually start, I actually switch all three things. I found a sharp ass song. I made sure it was on my phone because I had it on that. And then I moved it. I was playing off this, and I moved it to this, and I played it off Bluetooth, and I plugged it in the USB C. And it's uh, that took fucking forever, like eight minutes, to just get to test one song. And the treble actually got a little better when I plugged it in with the three and a half millimeter because it was cutting the highs out. It was just, it's just, it's not, it's not as good. It's not bad. But I don't think I would... If I was trying to sell a pair of these headphones to someone, it wouldn't be via the wire. It's fucking Folgers. My fist to your face is fucking Folgers. I And this is the thing. I'll talk briefly about this because I don't want these videos to be a million miles long. These, I think, sound more engaging than the Stelios, which are $3,000. And I think the reason they're more engaging, maybe not as subtly detailed, because, oh, my God, oh, $3,000 French headphone. Oh. Um, I think the reason they're more engaging is because they're I'm, they're DSP corrected. One, I've said this spiel before, and I'm sure some of you are new. I've never heard it. When you DSP a headphone, which is l almost entirely only possible via Bluetooth headphones, there are apps that you could add that, that you tell it what headphone you have and it loads a profile and everything. But they don't know what amplifier you're using. They don't know what DAC you're using. So they can't fully control the circuit. Focal knows exactly what amp, what DAC, what power they can use, what they can pull out, the frequencies they can adjust. And they literally have tuned, they sat there with a laptop and they tuned perfectly what this headphone can do to make it sound this good. That said, if you somehow yanked out the, the electronics and plugged straight into the drivers, it probably wouldn't sound as good, which is why you can't run them straight off of this without the power going on. So it's 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 six to one, half a dozen to the other. I want them to sound as good as they fucking do. This energetic, clear, focused, fucking enjoyable sound. Best best sounding Bluetooth headphone. Yeah, okay, I'll give it. I'll give it best sounding Bluetooth headphone. Followed abruptly by the Focal, not the Focal, the other the other F, the Finals. The final UX 3000s. The Focals and the Finals. The final UX 3000s are not active noise canceling and they're like $180. And it's like they made a really good headphone and just happens to have Bluetooth. And this is a really good 
active noise canceling DSP corrected headphone that just happens to have Bluetooth. So yeah, um, fucking bravo, bravo. And thank you to headphones.com for sending this out. Links to them in the description. You know, I don't, and the, the case that comes with this is a stand, it's actually probably a slightly smaller than standard Focal. It's really well built. It's really well built. It's nice. I just wish the wires weren't shit because I didn't even unwrap this for, for, for ugh, ugh. get that shit off my hands. Um, but you know, fully endorsed except they're $800. If these ever dropped on sale, even to six, which will put them in the same league as the Apple AirPods Max, just get these. Unless you absolutely are desperately in need for active noise canceling of the highest caliber, this is 85%. And 85% is good fucking enough. Anyway, wallpaper in the horde. Links to these. The sound quality is, it's, it's a Focal head. It's an $800 Focal. L let's, let's say it's a $600 Focal headphone, close back, that's got better bass than most Focal headphones. And you could adjust the EQ on the fly if you really felt like it. So, sold. Um, I'm going to put these back in the case now. Like this. Watch this. Boom. You do have to collapse this. Another problem I have with headphone cases, when I have to adjust them from the setting that I like to put them in the case, your case is too small. Just a little bit bigger, just so I could leave it at the fullest. If maybe I have a giant head. I want to keep adjusting it nine million times. But there, it's nice and fuzzy. So uh, links to her in the wallpaper hoard. Links to headphones.com. Uh, I have a universal sponsor link that floats around in all these videos. Check it out. Changes every week, maybe. I think it's every week. So who knows where it goes? Maybe I'm being sponsored by drug cartels. Maybe you can get the inside line on a drug cartel that delivers to your home. Or maybe it's uh, betterhelp.com who just fired everybody. Or maybe it's Twitter. Today, today is the day after the Twitter things are going on with, with Elon. It's very weird. It's very strange, the thing. Can I be sponsored by Twitter? Now think about that. Anyway, click the sponsorship. Patreon and Subscribestar are what actually keep this channel running. I want to thank everyone who's there. For $5 a month, you get to um, see reviews early. Uh, this one's getting, you probably see comments on there, like, why are these comments a week old? Because this is why. See reviews early. Participate in yard sales. Um, if I choose to, if they let me keep these or choose to sell them, they might want these back, so I'm not going to verify that. But I actually have two sets of the toppings, the L7 E7 and E70. So one of those ends up in the yard sale. And no matter where you live in the world, you can bid on it. And if you live outside of the U.S. and Canada, you just have to pay half shipping, plus whatever you bid. Please bid a lot. Shipping's expensive. And then finally, sound demos. I have to do the sound demo for these, which is going to be interesting because I would just be so easy if I could plug that in. But I can't plug it in. So the sound demo is going to probably come off my fucking phone and plugged into the thing and plugged into the into the recording rig. Those are only available now to patrons and subscribe to our supporters. This way I'm not limited to what I can play. And it's, it's, it's just so much easier. Oh, my God. Just I'm still working on the encoding settings. But, yeah, so for $5 a month, you get those three fucking benefits. However, for $10 a month you get into the private behind the scenes telegram chat where you could ask me any questions you like see behind the scenes stuff here that's happening and going on see what i'm getting ask me questions ask other people questions and once you're in that you're in a lifetime joined swap me channel where you can buy sell and trade gear which is nice because everyone in there is obsessed with buying selling and trading gear because audiophiles tend to do that anyway i'm done i'm zios pantera i'm your host check out all my other channels in my link tree zios put the link tree like higher up in the thing because I've got so much stuff like my Twitter which may or may not be there or my Instagram which may or may not be there no Instagram will still be there I have a Twitch stream too I Twitch check it out check all the things and I'm gonna go do some dishes with these on